Hi guys, morning brand here. Got my coffee and everything. Also overslept brand here today. Uh hit <laughs> that lovely situation we've all been in where I went to uh hit snooze on my alarm, and for some reason my sleepy brain was like, mm, what if we hit the stop button instead? Uh so yeah. Uh <laughs> uh not a very long video today because I don't have time to record like I usually do. But I kinda wanna just pass some good advice to you because it's been something I've been uh kind of uh, seeing a lot of DVD creators uh, run into and DVD players run into recently out in the social media space. So maybe just this little bit of advice will help you uh, go a long way. So yeah, let's go ahead and talk about it. The thing I want to talk about today is negativity in the dead by daylight space. I know a topic that's been done to death on this channel and many other channels, but hey, it's one that usually typically <laughs> always is uh something that you can empathize with because it's all something we've dealt with not only in this community but just like in any general gaming community especially one with a, a game that has as many issues as dead by daylight whether it be balance bugs etc it's kind of hard to stay positive about the game sometimes in the future of where this is all going and that's totally natural however uh, as you've seen in the community and uh, i used to be part of this back when i was a jaded killer main people like to kind of catastrophize and uh freak out a little too much about the the perils of where dbd is headed and what's going on all this stuff and it just kind of gets really tiring and exhausting sometimes um the 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 spark for this video is i saw another creator uh talking to another creator and i'm sorry you know i keep everything anonymous so sorry if that's really weird creator a talking to creator b <laughs> uh that uh creator a was talking a lot about how uh they feel like everything around them is like super toxic and scary and negative and the dvd community is just a nasty place to be hi will Zooming in the background. <laughs> He's not negative. He's doing great. Um, but the, the Dead by Daylight community is a negative place to be. It's full of a lot of very nasty, mean people, both creators and players alike. And it's hard to escape from that everywhere you go. And kind of just kind of like um, doom saying, you know, just kind of like uh, painting a very, very negative and a perilous picture. But the, the second content creator, I feel like had a really, really good point. And that being that they said that in, in a certain extent, you kind of like choose the places you inhabit in the dead by daylight community and if you choose to inhabit places that are that chaotic are that scary are that constantly negative and full of drama or whatever it happens to be then yeah you're gonna feel like the dead by daylight community and the game is a pretty a pretty perilous place to be um if you're in a community that is non-stop bashing behaviors uh, balanced choices no matter what they say it's gonna feel like the game's just like kind of like constantly going in a bad direction and there is no positive there is no um there's no light at the end of the tunnel essentially so it feels like we're all on this doom train so i think it's really natural to kind of just like you know get lost in the sauce and kind of just like be especially when you know in the content creation space just like binging some of these videos over and over or um you know discovering a new streamer and watching them like every day or following somebody's tiktok and watching all their tiktoks like it's like it's very easy to go down the rabbit hole and end up uh, entrenched in, in a very negative and uh unhappy place <laughs> especially when it comes to dead by daylight Sorry, right, will was being will <laughs> that's the reason for most of the jump cuts is will is being will over there and i have to either get him out of something or stop him from breaking something I love him to death, but he's a little destruction machine. Um, <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, what I was talking about is I have actually been in this situation before. I'm sure if you, many of you who, if you've been with the channel for quite a while now, you know that this is an experience that I've had where um, one of my favorite streamers way back in the day, like years and years ago, was actually a survivor streamer, oddly enough, because it was in my big brain idea that I should start watching more survivor streamers if I want to get better at killer, which is still a good strat. You should still do that. It's, it's just smart to see the other side the way they play and what their objectives are so you can set them on the other side um and that person ended up becoming a, a, a good friend and i hung out in their streams like every time they're around every day and they just were turbo negative about the game like non-stop like every single match from start to finish was complaints maybe one laugh or chuckle in there that was usually like a sarcastic laugh or chuckle at something supposedly cringe that the killer was doing but essentially it was like four to five straight hours of complaining and everything is awful and everything is terrible and everything is not part of the dream <laughs> um and it just got exhausting to watch that person day after day after day because even though i liked the game for the most part and i enjoyed the game for the most part uh the community i was inhabiting was making me feel miserable about it because the streamer i was watching was non-stop negative about the game they claimed very very frequently that they had just like ruined dead by daylight baby ruined dead by daylight there's no going back when the, <laughs> the one the funny one that i always remember about that was like destiny began the downfall of the video game <laughs> i was just like 
whoa 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 uh, there's just a, there was just it was just like kind of like a very like not comfortable place to be it's very not comfortable place to be like it, we tried to like it, there, there, i met a lot of really really good friends there and a lot of good people that i still know today but uh, overall i was just it was just a very like Ugh, time in the game and i think the important part of this anecdote is that it kind of affected the way i played dead by daylight afterwards too because i found myself going into games and complaining more often and and freaking out more often i know most of their complaints were survivor complaints because they were survivor me but I, even as a killer i was just kind of like bashing maps bashing perks bashing this bashing that and i was just like negative i was just like complaining the entire time i was playing the game and you know it was because the spaces i was occupying were people that just almost universally all had a very negative view about the game so i just kind of like even if it wasn't on purpose started soaking that in over time and then i just started having a bad time in the actual gameplay in the actual game of dead by daylight itself because i was just surrounding myself with people who hated the game and so i think that um a, a sentiment that i see a lot in the dead by daylight community and i want to uh, reiterate is that you choose what space you inhabit in the dead by daylight community you choose to go to killer only spaces and feel like the behavior is out to get killers. You go to survivor only spaces and pretend that behavior doesn't care about survivors. You go to those spaces willingly. Nobody is forcing you to watch only aggressively biased survivor mains. Nobody's forcing you to watch aggressively biased killer mains. Nobody's forcing you to watch people who hate the game. Nobody is forcing you to do that. And I know it's going to be kind of like a, a big friction to initially like leave a lot of those spaces, especially if you built a lot of friends and camaraderie there. But I feel like you will be better overall to not engage with the negative things that are happening <laughs> because they will come and affect you. Like, I feel like a lot of people, and I'm one of them, I'm very bad about this, is that if I can just have a better mindset, I could be insulated to this stuff, even if I'm in constant contact with it. And that's that's not realistic. <laughs> that's not very realistic. Maybe if I just have a better mindset, it will be better. No, <laughs> it does not work that way. You can't just like outthink and outfeel uh, Th that sort of thing like the environment that you're in will directly have an impact on the way you feel and think like you gotta get out of negative environments that make you feel that way and that includes the dead by daylight community if you are constantly exposing yourself to negative content and things that make the people talking about it feel bad then you will eventually also feel bad <laughs> so don't 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 try to think that you can like outsmart the toxicity or you can outsmart the negativity like just don't go around those communities. Don't go on social medias and follow a bunch of people on social uh, on, on Twitter, on TikTok that like not stop to play about the game. Try to like remove yourself from those situations because especially if you like this game and you want to keep playing it, um, it can be particularly hard to stay positive about it. Uh, the game itself, the game itself is already going to do enough to make the game sometimes feel negative because of overpowered perks, overpowered maps, etc. You don't need the extra like social media bubble around it going rah, 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 making things even worse. Don't need that only that so yeah uh you you choose the spaces you inhabit even if it's hard to break away from pre-existing uh, ones that you've already you know been established in uh it's better to move on to, to brighter pastures that will not make you feel terrible all the time so yeah just a word of advice today hi uh editing brand here um meeting now <laughs> sorry for the fork um yeah th usually the counterpoint to videos like this even though it's supposed to be just be uniquely positive and like hey try to do something nice for yourself and your own mental health thing there's usually some person down in the comments that usually is always like well we should address the issues that are in the game i never said not to address the issues in the game let's make that abundantly clear i never said like the game is a frustrating sometimes the game isn't bad sometimes sometimes uh that's gonna naturally upset you and we should ignore the issues that that, that was not said at any point in the video so yeah, if you're saying that, that I, nobody said that, but good, good. You get a cookie. Good, good job. No, you don't get the good ones. You get the oatmeal. Oatmeal's my favorite. Anyways, would be funny. Anyways, that's gonna be it for today's video, friends. Thank you so much for watching and listening to my little case in point <laughs> uh watching my little rant today uh i appreciate you so much do you find yourselves in negative communities and dead by daylight uh let me know down in the comments below and how the experience is for you because i feel like it's something that we can all kind of like empathize with and if not at least sympathize with uh but i do upload daily so i will see you tomorrow but if i do not i will see you when i see you goodbye